Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In my last video, I have explained about Microsoft Lists, the new app that is there in Office 365 or the Microsoft 365. It is same as like our SharePoint online list. Uh, we saw how we can create it, how we can uh, create and uh, use it in Microsoft Teams as well. Now what we'll do is we'll do some kind of formatting we'll see uh, a few formatting on the microsoft list so basically we will create a, a list uh, from the beginning in microsoft list app and then we will see some uh, uh, list view formatting we'll see some column formatting i will show you how we can uh, see the gallery view of a particular list and then uh, we will see how we can create alerts as well so those things we are going to discuss on this now what i'll do is I'll open my Office 365 tenant. If you'll see here, this is the admin page of Microsoft 365 Center, admin center. Uh, you can, from anywhere, you can access this app launcher and you can go to list, you can see here. Now, once you click on list, you will see this option where uh, these are, uh, this is the option where you can create a list. I've explained it in the last one also. So if you click on a uh, new list and then uh, let's create a blank list. So you can see here. I'll quickly create uh, this list here and you can give any name you can uh, put some icon and then click on create so till this much we saw in the last video uh, so here we will see now a little bit of customization and if you are actually familiar with SharePoint online most of the things uh, is same as our SharePoint online list because this is it is similar to that only thing is it came as a new app now here first thing is you might not require this title always you might want to change it so you can go to the column settings you can say rename so I will say let's say course name and uh, let me give it and then click on save so you can see the name of that column changed and next thing what I will do is I will uh, create a column here so you can see I'll create a choice column now if you are familiar with again SharePoint uh, uh, online uh, then uh, online list I'm talking about so you will see that the choice column now you have this color coding things over here for example now what I'll do here is I will say let's say I will say the status of this courses and I want to make whether it is completed for example the course is completed now and the other one is in in progress let's say and this one is not started and uh, let's make this color a little bit different because completed you can make it to green uh, so you can click over here and you can select this and then in progress maybe I'll put yellow and then for not started I might go with uh, a red and uh, this way you can add choices so if you want to add more choices you can do that but for this particular example I have added uh, this much only so these three status I have added and then you can uh, click on save so let me just open it so you can see I will just click on save so now the column got created what I will do is we will add some data here for example here I will uh, let's say SharePoint uh, development training you can see here I'll put uh, the status here so for example I'll say it's completed uh, if I'll click on exit grid view you can see here now you'll be able to see the color as well so by default this is I'm not doing uh, not formatting yet so just we have created the choice column and how it looks like what I'll do is I'll move add, I will add some more items into it and then I'll come back so now you can see I added uh, this many items and uh, this is how the list looks like. Now we will see some formatting. So if you will uh, see here uh, the status column you can just simply click on status column and then uh, column settings and you can see uh, there is format this column. So you can click over here and here two things are there. One thing is format the view and the other one is format the columns. So when you will uh, you can see here when you will select by default since we came from here so format column is there and uh, if you want to change it for example um, uh, okay let's see the view first so if you look at now here you will be able to see two things one is 
the alternative row style and the other one is conditional conditional formatting so as the name suggest uh, the first one uh, is uh, how you can see um, the alternative row style so you can change the row style for example if i'll simply select it you can see here now gray white gray white like this alternative color it way uh, this way it is coming now you can change this color also maybe uh, the, let's say this is not your theme color you want to change something you can see here click on edit row uh, style and then here the options uh, you can change uh, the color here so it is showing, showing now you can see odd rows and this is the even row color so odd row let's say i'll make it to a green and then even row uh, if i'll make it to yellow you can see here how it looks like now uh, so this way you can change it and if you'll save it now this is this the view has been saved and you will see a different uh, um, color <coughs> alternative color are there excuse me so this is how it is and uh, if you are using classic sharepoint site uh, you have to do a lot of coding and all stuff are there but here you can see by simply uh, clicking on some some configuration buttons you can change it the other one is conditional formatting now when you will click this you can see here the other one gone because we choose to have some conditional formatting now in this case conditional formatting for example if it is completed uh, i want to put it green see everything is green but we have not put a condition here you can see click show all values so you can see here and you can say status if status is equal to let's say completed it is green so now you can see here uh, the row color uh, it is green when it is completed you can even put more condition over there for example you will say and if or or if so you have the option for example you will say status uh, is equal to in progress now that also you want to make it uh, to uh, green so you can do that but let's say you don't want you want only green color should come when it is completed you can add that way uh, you can click on save you can see here now only this one uh, but if you want to add additional roles so come back here and then click on add rule and you can say status if it is equal to uh, let's say in progress so we will make it to hello so now you can see here we have another rule here two rules are there first one is coming which is uh, green and the second one is hello and that that thing is based on the condition you can put even another one for example if status is equal to not started and you can make it to red so you can have this kind of things and uh, you have the option you can add more rules you can use or equal to not equal to these conditions are there and you can see here now how your look, list view looks like and most importantly i really no, don't need to see the status now i can in fact go here and based on the color i can see whichever the uh, whichever the uh, items are completed which are in progress or which are complete uh, not started now this is how you can do the uh, list view rollable formatting uh, or the format view that we talk about the next one is the format columns now when you are coming to format columns you can see here now uh, this is the status column that we want to format you can see here uh, you have to select the column for example if you want to format the course name or status or in fact you have other columns so you you select that uh, that column name here and now what you want to do you want to uh, give a background color you can see here if you'll give the background color this is how it looks like wherever it's completed it is there you can click on edit and you can see here if it is completed you can do like this um, if you click over here uh, and then you go to more styles you can see here it has some additional things are there for example the font size i want to make 20 so you can see here whichever has completed it is 20 now and the color maybe let's give a different color or let it be this color will be there and uh, you can make it to bold font color you can change for example you want to change it to uh, let's say this one you can see here uh, this purple color it, it becomes and another thing that you can do is you can put a icon over there 
if i'll put an icon you can see here one checkbox is coming here and you have the option where you can make the alignment for example i want this checkbox or this tick mark should be there in the right side so you can put like this you can select the icon alignment and then you can come over here so now you can see here the the items which are completed or course status is completed there there is a tick mark and the font is big so you have that additional things are there you can do also so same way if you will uh, go back here there is another uh, three options are there choice pills and then conditional formatting and the background we saw now let's see the this one so if you when you will go for choice pills you can see here there is a rounding rounded style is there so you can click over here and you have the same thing you can uh, this way you can put go to the more style you can put the same formatting so we have that option only thing is the styling here is a round shape the last one is the conditional formatting again here uh, as i uh, we explained in the list view where we are putting this condition here uh, we will put for the particular column so the formatting will be applied to this column rather than the entire row for example quickly i'll say status is equal to completed uh, then uh, you can see here this is the um, uh, rule and then what how you want the item to be displayed so click over here and then you can make uh, this color background color this way you can even go to the move formatting you can make uh, this color for example the text color it not looks like so you can see uh, you can put probably this color you can see here it is completed how this color is coming you can put this icon only thing is all this formatting are same uh, the icon is there everything is there uh, only it is how we are uh, designing this or how we are uh, deciding this based on the condition so you have more items you have more conditions you can put you can use the air condition all these options are the same like we discussed in the list view so this way we can do some formatting on this now I will show you uh, one more thing is uh, the view so if you go to all items I was telling you there is a gallery view you can see here there is a list view there is a gallery view you can see and here you can see this is the gallery view now um, you have this view in SharePoint online list as well so this is not new to uh, Microsoft list app this is there in SharePoint online list now uh, if I will just go back here uh, you will see one more option here if I'll go to the com column formatting here format this column um, you can see here when I, when I'll go to format view then the layout so if you'll select the gallery layout you can see here this is the layout and you have this option this is a limited option over here if you'll click on uh, you know edit layout um, you see that these are the columns for example first is course name status so if you want to interchange it you can say move so you can see the status now uh, at the beginning and then you have the course name then it is saying that uh, if you want to show the column name as labels so if you remove it you can see here it is showing this way uh, let me move this up so you can see here uh, the uh, course name and the uh, this the status but you will not see the column names here if you'll simply select this you will see the column name so there's a limited uh, kind of uh, formatting options are there for the uh, this card view uh, or the gallery view so you can use this one uh, next thing uh, what we will do here is uh, this alert also is there again if you are not familiar with alerts SharePoint alerts is the same alerts so it will work the same way it will basically send a notification if anything happen to the happens to this particular list so for example i'll go here you will say alert me and you have it will come or it will open the same screen i can see here uh, alert title send alert to whom and uh, send an email alert or a text message change type if you want to uh, change if you want to send me the alert on all the changes new item added existing item modifier or items are deleted uh, same way if uh, any anyone changes or anything changes someone else changes these options are there and the last one is quite important when you want to send the alerts weekly daily summary or immediately or in a particular list, when you will select uh, uh, the weekly summary it will ask you on what time you want the alert to be sent to you and then you can select immediately so anything will happen to the, uh, to the list immediately you will get a notification the email notification because you have selected email here 
and then you can click on ok and the alert will get created and if you have done anything then the email will trigger so uh, this is not new as i said this is this will work the same way in sharepoint online list as well so these, these are the some formatting that i wanted to show you probably in some other videos we will see how we can create from excel and all these things on the microsoft list app remember this is a app a different app uh, like your word excel powerpoint and microsoft has released this so you don't need to create a sharepoint online site rather you can just go to the app launcher you can create a list from the list app so thank you and if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to our channel and you will get a lot of free videos on SharePoint, Office 365, SPFX, Power Platform, all these videos you will get it free. Thank you and have a nice day.